Hey guys, Matt here. I'm going to go ahead and do a little quick video on what happens when you actually open that infected attachment in your email or Outlook as business users use. Um, I have a three attachments here that I received today. I, I manage a, a few uh, hundred computers and uh, I set up some uh, rules on our exchange server to forward uh, any zips to me that look kind of weird. So I receive these infected zips on a daily basis. So this is what's going on every day, all day, you know, across any email system. There is just tons of malware being sent to e via email as zip files. I have two samples, two two kinds here. One is an encrypted zip. Uh, they try to make the 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 zip attachment look legitimate by providing you with a password to open it, and that's the password you see here. The other two are kind of um, you know social engineering, scary, informational kind of zips. Like we have a voice message here that is marked as really important, and why haven't you responded to this voicemail message? This is uh, another tactic I see. Um, of course, your typical bank documents. Hey, your account, uh, for some reason, is down to zero, zero, zero. What's going on? Uh, take a look at these documents to see what happened. So, you know I was uh, doing some videos on ESET, and I want to go ahead and create a infected computer. So, this is going to be the start of that creation. We're going to go ahead and open up these infections on this perfectly clean computer and see what they do and they probably won't do anything right away it'll be pretty boring typically nothing will really happen uh, I'll have to let it set and it's like uh, it's like baking bread you just gotta let it go and um, stuff will download automatically and get installed so let's go ahead and open up our first uh, infected zip file and these are from today so these are, this is zero day malware very recent uh, it wants a password. Uh, it wants a password, so it must be legit, right? No. So we'll go ahead and give it the password. Looks like a pretty good. Looks like a little Outlook icon. Uh, the title of this email, by the way, was Outlook Settings, New Settings, uh, and it was from me. Uh, so I'm glad that I was able to block this email from going to my users. So. We'll go ahead and just run it. Smart screen doing its thing. That's good. But we're going to run it anyway. And run it again. And as you can see, the little exe disappears and uh, everything's, you know, normal, sort of. I'm getting a little bit of spinning, mouse kind of acting up. Nothing crazy. Let's move on. Uh, okay, well... Windows Firewall has blocked some features of this app. Uh, we'll just allow access. All right. Um, next one is voicemail message. Here's the voice message that I should have responded to. Oh, look at that. Nice little wave file icon. It's actually an executable. When I double click on it, um, it's not going to load iTunes or anything like that or Windows Media Player. It's going to load this malicious file. And bank documents to round things up. Wow, these are very nice. Very nice. Very, very well crafted. Great little icons. You know, they just totally would fool you if you're not paying attention. I mean, it's just crazy. When, I mean, I, by the way, I'm using Windows 8 here. And Windows 8 would um, block this thing normally. Yeah, unrecognized app from starting. You know, I, I commend Windows, Windows 8 for that kind of stuff. They they actually are very good at blocking stuff, even zero-day stuff. And I actually have Windows Defender, um, Windows 8 Defender, disabled because it blocks almost everything. It's hard to make my infection videos with it turned on. It's a very good built-in uh, security compared to... Well, compared to nothing. They had nothing before. I mean... It's nice that Windows 8 has some really good built-in stuff. 
Okay, so that's it. Very sneaky, very quiet, you know. Finally that disappears. So the malware has dropped into the typical directory where it drops. And I'll be doing a video on how to prevent this. It's a hidden folder, so if you go inside of typically your username and you type app data, we're going to see a few hidden folders here. So malware is going to typically drop into either this folder or this folder, typically. And it, yeah, correct. So UT Treak, some randomly named folder, and there is the Trojan sitting there downloading or doing whatever. Who knows what it's doing? Uh, local. Uh, we've got some malware there. Budha. And now we're just sitting here. We don't know what's going on. I honestly don't. I, I have no clue. Um, it's downloading something. Or maybe it's doing nothing right now. Maybe it's on a timer. You know, you just don't know. So, anyway. I don't know if that was fun or not for you guys, but this is how I started infecting this computer for... This is going to be the uh, ESET Rescue Disk video where I actually use the rescue disk to try to clean up a PC. <sighs> so, anyway, that's it. I guess I'll go ahead and upload this. I don't know if you uh, guys like this or not, but we'll find out.